Step, step. Now, after watching this video, you're not going to be able to punch as hard as Mike Tyson, but you're going to understand exactly how he could get power in that punch. And if you try this method, the chances are you will be able to generate a lot more power in your lead hook as well. Mike Tyson, the most feared boxer of all time. And the reason why he was feared so much was because he generated so much power in either hand. He was knocking people out all the time. He had 44 knockouts in his fight career. And on this video, I'm gonna break down his most feared punch, which was his left hook. I'm gonna tell you how he generated that power in the punch, and also how he used to set up that lead hook and trick his opponents, making them think he was gonna throw something else, and then land on that punch and knock on them spark out. My name's Tony Jeffries, Olympic bronze medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Leading off with a lead hook is so hard to do, but the reason why Mike Tyson used to have so much success with it was because of his movement. He would be moving all the time like this, keeping his opponent thinking. And when he used to throw that lead hook, he'd often dip to his left, like this, which made them think he was going to throw his right hand. So if he dipped, them thought the right hand was coming to defend that right hand, they would put the hands together, he'd dip, and then he'd be able to land that lead hook. So I'll show you what it looks like on the bag. So he's here moving side to side. He would do a big dip in, putting his weight to his front foot. Then from there, really swinging his full body weight around to generate that power. And it looked like this faster. And that's how he would do it. And he was generally fighting taller guys. So he would sometimes even jump a little bit, getting all of that body weight behind the punch. And that's where the power would come from. So it's here, there, there, boom. And come up and you can see just there that I'm generating a lot of power in that hook by doing that. And that's basically how he would set up that lead hook by dipping. They would think that right hand's coming. And then from there, boom, coming up and throwing it. And he mentioned in one of his interviews that his favorite combination was this right hand to the body, then the lead up to the head. And that's another way how he would set it up. He would throw that big right hand to the body, putting his weight at the front foot, then from there, really swinging in that lead hook and generate a lot of power. And it would look like this. So he's moving side to side, step, step. And one thing what Mike Tyson was really good at, which he doesn't get enough praise for, was his footwork. His footwork was amazing. The way he used to cut the ring down, stepping, going after his opponents, getting his opponent where he wanted them, and then he had fast feet to be able to land them punches because without the step here, then here, there's no power in the punches. So again, he's there, head moving, head moving, head moving. Step, step, ba, ba. And that right there is how he generated so much power into that. And another way he used to get power was with stepping, would be he would step to his right, step to his left, then lead off that hook, so that would look like this. Step, step, bam! So give that a try next time you're hitting the heavy bag. Let me know how you get on. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Also, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button, it'll really help me out. Thank you for watching.